We're at the semi-final stage of the women's platform diving. Surprises in the prelims, now what's in store in the semis? Let's take you poolside to join Stuart Story. Thank you, Steve. Well, semi-final stage now in the diving. Lots of interest as the divers battle it out for a place in the final. She'll be attempting a forward dive in the tuck position, one of her easier dives, with a tariff of 1.4. Well, Paul, that looked like a pretty good dive to me. A really good entry, and that should reflect well in her score. Well-deserved marks for such a good dive there. After that performance, 11th place. Let's see that again. She didn't waste any time at all after leaving the board, getting quickly into the tuck position. That was almost a textbook dive. That was a beautiful entry into the water. She made very little splash. Oh, certainly some high-quality dives in this semi-final. The end of round play six. Great Britain! With the tariff of 2.4, she'll be attempting an inward double somersault with Tuck. Dive. She should get some reasonable mark for that. I think that was a great position when she entered the water. This should score well, Stuart. Good scores from the judges there. The current position then is second. Well, here's a run through of that action again. She didn't waste any time at all after leaving the board, getting quickly into the tuck position. That was almost a textbook dive. She caused very little splash entering into the water. That was a well-timed move in the entry position. Oh, certainly some high-quality dives in this semi-final. Let's take a quick look at the placings after that. Next up is Great Britain. She'll be performing a back dive with Pike, which carries a multiplier of 1.8. that dive just a little bit better. Nice and straight as she entered the water though. The judges will like that. Oh, she's a little bit disappointed by the marks. After that performance, 12th place. Well, let's have a look at the replay. That was a terrific start to the dive. She got some great clearance from the board and got straight into the pike position. It's very important to get into the pike position as quickly as possible in order to take full advantage of the height. That was a beautiful entry into the water. She made very little splash. She needs more of a competitive edge to do well at this level. Well, let's see how it looks after that round. 
the British athlete is preparing to perform. He'll be attempting a reverse dive in the straight position, which has a tariff of 2.0. to me Paul a really good entry and that should reflect well in her score oh she's looking very happy with those marks at the end of that round 11th place well let's have a look at the replay she got terrific height off the board and is quick to get into the straight position and she used the height gain from that takeoff to very good effect That was nice and clean, entering the water. Oh, certainly some high-quality dives in this semi-final. So let's have a look at the scoreboard then, after that semi-final. Thanks, Stuart. Yes, great stuff there. And they'll have strong hopes for that final now, after they got through so well here today. Back over to the women's javelin now. It's reached the semi-final stage and telling us more about it is Stuart Story, joined by Paul Dickinson. Thanks again, Steve. You join me here at the semi-final stage of the javelin competition. Some tremendous action in prospect. Let's go and join the first throw. Next up is Great Britain. The javelin just fell out of the air. Well, let's have a look at the replay. So let's have a look at the scoreboard then after that round. The British competitor then is up next. So a disappointing first round throw. Let's see what she can do here. And they've not held anything back on that one. Oh, she's thrown it about 65 metres. Here's the replay of that action. This looked good from the point of release until it landed. Yes, Stuart, she really got her arm behind that one. Oh, that throw covered an incredible distance. A great throw, truly great. So let's have a look at the scoreboard then after that round. Next to compete will be Great Britain. So leading the field here in the third round, she's going to take an awful lot of beating on this form. This one is going to be fantastic. That's at least 60 metres. Well, let's have a look at the replay.
everything came right together. Yes, yeah, superb control and finesse from this athlete. An excellent throw. This young athlete has every right to celebrate that. Thanks, Stuart. Yes, great stuff there. And they'll have strong hopes for that final now after they got through so well here today. Next up is live coverage of the women's platform diving final. Let's take you straight to the Aquatic Centre to join Stuart Story. Thanks again, Steve. Well, the time has arrived for these young women, the Olympic final. Still so much to play for in the biggest competition of their lives. She'll be performing a reverse dive in the straight position, which has a tariff of 2.0. Well, Paul, that looked like a pretty good dive to me. A great entry into the water, that's one of her trademarks. Well-deserved marks for such a good dive there. Third in the competition. Let's see that again. She was obviously very composed and relaxed going into this dive. She got a good strong takeoff from the board and then gained extra time in the air. Then she was quickly into her straight position, holding it so well. And she's nice and straight as she enters the water. An incredible dive to pull off in the Olympic final. Well, let's take a look at the standings then after that round. The British competitor then is up next. She'll be attempting a forward three and a half somersaults in the pike position, which has a tariff of three. there Paul the splash as she entered the water is going to cost her some marks as well Stuart well she seems fairly pleased with that one so first place after that let's see the replay of that she was obviously very composed going into this dive she got a good strong takeoff from the board and gained the extra time in the air to complete the dive then she was straight into her pike and she held the position so well. Now there was certainly a bit of a splash as she entered the water. You can see it wasn't quite straight enough. Well, she really needed to be a bit more decisive with that dive. There are the end of round results. The British competitor then is up next.
will be attempting a back double somersault in the straight position with a tariff of 2.6. Well, certainly good control in the air, the legs in good position, she can expect some good marks for that. And it was quite a nice entry into the water too, good marks for her. Oh, she's looking very happy with those marks. The result, first place. Here's the replay of that action. She got terrific height off the board and is quick to get into the straight position. And she used the height gained from that takeoff to very good effect. And she's nice and straight as she enters the water. Well, before these games, who would have thought she was capable of a dive like that? Let's have a look at the end of round placings. The British athlete is preparing to perform. With a tariff of 2.3, she'll be attempting a handstand backward somersault in the straight position. good dive to me a great entry into the water that's one of her trademarks she's obviously over the moon with that and that's the lead let's have another look at that look at the way she got good height from the board and then used it to her advantage by getting quickly into the straight position that just shows how the quality of her diving has improved over the last season. That was a beautiful entry into the water. She made very little splash. An incredible dive to pull off in the Olympic final. There are the end of round results. Next up is Great Britain. With a multiplier of 2.8, she'll be attempting an inward two and a half somersault with Pike. Good, clean dive. She should get some reasonable marks for that. Yes, Stuart, she's got a superb entry too. Oh, she's looking very happy with those marks. The result, first place. Here's another look at that action. She was obviously very composed going into this dive. She got a good strong takeoff from the board and gained the extra time in the air to complete the dive. Then she was straight into her pike and she held the position so well. That was nice and clean entering the water. Well, before these games, who would have thought she was capable of a dive like that? Great Britain are the Olympic champions. The arena has erupted in celebration of a superb performance. Today, then, we can add a new name to the list of Olympic champions with that magnificent performance that will forever live on in Olympic history. We all feel privileged to have witnessed it, and I'm sure that you were as thrilled as everyone here. Absolutely sensational.
The medal ceremony now for the women's high platform diving. These divers have given us a thrilling competition and a thrilling moment coming up now for all three. Among some great action for you today is the eagerly anticipated women's javelin final. I see it's about to start, so let's see how the action unfolds. Thanks, Steve. So, the women's Olympic javelin final. This is the event we've been waiting for. The British athlete is preparing to perform. So, she's the one they're all trying to catch here. A great performance so far, but will it continue? Oh, look at that. What happened? The javelin stalled. Well, let's have a look at the replay. Oh, and that's a foul! So, let's have a look at the scoreboard then, after that round. Next up is Great Britain. So, she's the one they're all trying to catch here. A great performance so far, but will it continue? And they've not held anything back on that one. Well, that's landed somewhere in the low 60s. Well, here's a run-through of that action again. This looked good from the point of release until it landed. Yes, the angle of release was absolutely perfect. That was a fine throw. They have every right to be pleased with that. Still some more to come. So let's have a look at the scoreboard then after that round. The British competitor then is up next. One throw remaining, already the Olympic champion. Can she sign off with the big throw? Bigger still. You can already tell this is superb. Well, that's just beyond 60 meters, I reckon. Here's the replay of that action. This looked good from the point of release until it landed. Yes, Stuart, she really launched that one. That was a good, solid throw. Much to be celebrated there. Yeah. 
So a fantastic victory there, and one that will live in the memory for a long, long time. It's time for the medals to be presented now in the women's javelin, a hard-fought competition. Let's watch as they enjoy it. The ultimate sporting accolade, the Olympic medal ceremony. Thank you. 